Dating Kinky presents Dating for Men or Dating for Women? Must a dating site be a war of the genders? Hi, I'm Nookie, or Miss NN, and I run DatingKinky.com. I wanted to talk a bit today about dating for men versus dating for women, because I've seen a lot recently about new sites cropping up that claim, finally, online dating for women! As if women haven't been a part of online dating as long as there has been online dating, and as if those dating online don't want a selection of the genders we're looking for. Heterosexual men are looking for women, so sites must be comfortable enough for women, or they'll just leave, right? And heterosexual women want sites where men feel comfortable because then the men will be there and women are looking for men like that. And then we come to the fact that there is a whole range of genders, not just two. If a site is comfortable and safe for women, is it then comfortable and safe for genderqueer? Or trans folks? Or gender fluid? Agender? What if it's comfortable for men? Must it then be uncomfortable for all other shades of human? For example, we have a very low tolerance for rudeness on dating kinky. As soon as someone is reported, we send them a message that says, So, the word we're hearing is that you're not being very nice. It's just one report right now, so it's not going to impact you at this time. However, do keep in mind that enough reports will get your account put on suspension. Thank you for your understanding and keeping dating kinky friendly. Now, I'll be honest, about 9 out of 10 reports of rudeness are about male identifieds, but other genders are rude too. And when we get those reports, we send the same message. On the other end of the gender spectrum, we also get a lot of reports of spammers, scammers, and sneaky pros. To be clear, we allow pros who say clearly in their profile that they are pay for play or require tribute, but we do not allow someone to pretend they are there for personal reasons, then do a bait and switch. That's just not cool. Anyway, about 9 out of 10, or maybe even 99 out of 100 reports of pros or scammers are on female-identified members. But there's been the non-female-identifying gender in that mix as well. And we handle it in exactly the same way. I guess what I don't understand is, if we go out of our way to encourage people to be friendly, courteous, honest, and, well, kinky... Does that make us safe for women? And does it inherently then make us unfriendly to all other genders? What do you think? Is traditional dating friendly to all genders? Or only one? Or just a few? What can be done about it? Is it possible for all people or all genders to feel safe on just one site? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Dating Kinky. It's built by kinksters, for kinksters, poly, queer, trans folk, and anyone not quite vanilla. And it's free.